And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new donation deck. We got Scout Midrange. This is going to be Bannerman focused, uh, a Scout deck. We only have three Bilgewater cards, just the three Misfortunes. Besides that, we're all Demacia because we want our Bannermans to hit all of the time. And we're really focusing on the Scout stuff because we're not only just going with Quinn and, you know, Grizzled Ranger. We got some other ones. We got Green Fang Warden um in the three mana slot one thing that i really like about this card is putting this on defense honestly because it starts with the barrier so like they play like some big threat and then you play this warden as a blocker and then they're like Ugh, never mind don't want to attack anymore um but then also we, we're going big great horn companion is a really good five mana uh card now this good five uh five five with scout and genevieve is going to be our six drop giving uh all of our other allies, plus one, plus one, having the scout, having challenger, pretty nice there. So, you know, like we're uh, going bigger with our scout stuff. So lots of scout, uh, bannermen, and just going to be attacking. We're also going blinding assault here in the two mana slot, uh, really trying to get that scout stuff going. So let's give this a try. Let's let's see how this does. With scout midrange of course you got to have that unyielded spirit at the top end right you know you just got to have that card it's too powerful not to have um so I like how we have one of those i think you always got to have one or two of those in any kind of demacia combat deck or basically any demacia deck uh this hand looks pretty decent so we're gonna go play five games in ranked like we always do and we're playing against i'm gonna keep the quit i couldn't mulligan quinn I think I'm gonna keep Quinn. We already got like turn one, turn two. Playing against elusives. Um, theoretically, elusives has. Oh man, that's that is not a good card for us to see. It's just uh, that's just messy. Need a war chefs for an extra, but I don't think that's in our deck. Oh, okay, misfortune will will work. Um. I could just pass. No. Debating passing so that I'd have the two spell mana still. So, like, next turn I play Misfortune, and then I would still have, like, single combat available for whatever reason. Without a sound. Never mind. See? Green Fang Warden. Pretty great. Now you're like, man, I don't even want to attack with that Zed now. Look at Green Fang Warden. <laughs> Away with you, stranger. Okay. So they just use an elixir of iron to do some damage. It found you. That that warden was like a perfect draw right then. It honestly was. Yeah, binding assault so, or valor. Valor is like our. I think I think that's our only two draw. My life for the order. Ready, boy. It's too late for you. It's not a bad trade. Love you. The elusives out here that we can't deal with. Oh, that was a really great sequence for us. Those two turns. We only have one more total card than them, though. They still got six. Shadow Assassin replacing itself. show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Mm. 
So what if I block with Fleet Feather Trekker? Nah. This Genevieve Elmhart's looking really good too. I'll defend these forests to the end. We will defend them to the end. Step like that. Hmm. Because basically I didn't block because Valor takes out this thing right here. Guess this is gonna be my third attack. Fourth attack, level up. All eyes on me. So that we'll kill them and actually kill that thing too, because we're gonna be doing three. We got bullet time. <laughs> I guess I never really knew that this thing was called bullet time. <laughs> that third skill. Well, all right, I suppose. It's bullet time. Okay, bullet time is Misfortune's ultimate in League. Good to know. So I'm planning on having Concerted Strike take out the Life Blade. I'm not really expecting another Deny. They could have a single combat, or sorry, sorry, sorry not a single combat, sorry. They could have a, a barrier card, which that would be the problem with them having a barrier. And so like then maybe I have to single combat. Okay, shouldn't have a barrier. Take these out. Rangers, with me. And GG's. Great. Now let's get back out there. Yeah, Swain Burn just has Swain for the only champion. Basically playing uh playing old burn and trying just having Swain and uh, what's the 8-mana card that grabs Swain? Leviathan. Swain and Leviathan at the top end. Maybe people won't think it's Burn with a Swain as the champion. Maybe. Thought about throwing one Ezreal in there. Maybe, maybe I should just have one Ezreal in there too so they think it's like Swain Ezreal. Hey, I'm going to play Twisted Fizz later on. So, that's probably the thing that I'm the most worried about with our deck is our curve. I'm worried about how many cards cost 4, 5, and 6, and not 2, specifically. I do feel like Warchefs and... Uh, Warchefs and Bright, Bright Steel Protector could probably be in here. Anything else? <laughs> I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Or at least one of them, or some combination. Hmm. 
All right, we'll double spell. And I'm double spelling pre before combat because I want to play. I want to attack with the warden before combat. Or, you know, like I want to attack with the warden twice. And now next turn I'll have Bannerman. I think Ezreal Sejuani with Frostbite could be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's I don't know if Sejuani's better than Ash in that kind of deck. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely. I'm not sure if I've played that, but I kind of feel like I have. I feel like I've played that. Maybe I haven't. Oh boy, here I go. Here, here goes Fizz. All I have to do is have something that draws cards to make the astute academic grow and then it trades. I don't love trading this stuff. I don't love trading. I would have been a lot happier if they would have just not attacked, you know, just attacked with the Fizz and nothing else. I would have been a lot happier. Follow my lead. We only get one card. We don't get to double spell, unfortunately. So let's go with this guy. Nice girl, but we got Elmhart is going to be the challenger. We'll challenge the Fizz. They're at two out of six. So yeah, should, like hopefully just the Misfortune trigger kills the Fizz. Uh, and then we get to attack with both with leveled up Misfortune. Unyielding Spirit. That must have been the card they took with Yordle Grifter. Block doesn't do anything because of the overwhelm with misfortune. Just basically lets them sacrifice to draw a card. <laughs> and 
And with having all these scout creatures, we are really leveling up Misfortune super fast. That's been... That's been really nice. Misfortune's been crushing it. Yeah, we've been leveling up Misfortune surprisingly easy. Despite Beaver's best efforts. Hey kid, how's it yeah, we got this game. I didn't smell uh, expect you here. Jenny? Bet. All right, they grab something of mine. We know it's not Genevieve El Elmhart. We know that. And it's not Unyielding Spirit. It's nothing's gonna keep him alive. Two and O. Oh. Our deck's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We're 2 0. Um, yeah, like, you know, we do have a real powerful top end, even though we have a lot of top end, but uh, those top end cards are good. The Elm Heart has looked awesome. Um, I know Cythria is really good at six mana, but this Elm Heart having Scout, being able to attack twice. Yeah, like, all these Scout cards have looked really good. Yeah, it's true. Yes, yeah, with Misfortune Shen yesterday, I think we did level up Misfortune twice. Thanks, Super Monkey. Stopping by to say I enjoy the YouTube videos. Thank you so much. Alright, they got the cool arcade board, Fiora Garen. I'm gonna keep... I don't like Fiora Garen. Fiora Garen probably means they, they're gonna try to kill Misfortune, and I don't like that and will likely succeed. If we had two drops, I would be mulliganing a little harder looking for two drops, like if we had War Chefs or uh, Bright Seal Protector. Both of those two drops would be great. But we don't have it. We have uh, the Blinding Assault, which is... Meh. Well, we got it anyway. The scout's a lot more valuable, right? So, like, the, the Valor's gonna be a lot more valuable for us. Uh. You're covered. Uh, that's not good. That's just a free kill. Hmm. Safeguard our citizens. 
I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Smell something. Do not waver. Love ya. So like I could see like some of those like like war chefs or bright seal protector. I could see playing those also over um over these. So I, I have to I have to kill that so that doesn't kill my missile chef. But over these Sithrias, to be honest. I could see see like Bright Seal Protector is doing more for us than Sithria does. All right, so I'm not going to play Scythria here so that if we draw... Okay, if we drew sudden combat... Uh, single combat, sorry. If we drew single combat, we would be able to have Quinn and single combat available. I can still play the Scythria just fine. I got to show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand... Yeah. Oh, actually, Josh. Yeah. So actually, that was that was my my same my same thing. Is I could definitely see see playing Bright Steel instead of Sithria. Both both Bright Steel and Warships. Oh, thanks, thanks, Don X. Thank you so much. This Todd, I admire you as a person and a player. Love your stream. Success for you. You're very good at what you do. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> no, thank you, Donna. Thank you. Here we go. Um So I don't know I don't know exactly what they are what kind of tricks they're planning, but it's not gonna be good for me. Yep, that is not good for me. Talk wreck! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub, Togrek. Already just started the stream. Already third sub of the day. That's amazing. Y'all are awesome. I've got your back. I'll write my own story. Uh... All right, so no misfortune level up, unfortunately. Came close, came close to going three for three, leveling up Misfortune, but finally we had an opponent that had removal. Man. We have, we have 13 spells in our deck. Oh, I guess Binding Assaults count for three. Never mind. So we have 10 spells in our deck. Can't find any. Oh yeah, Garen's a huge problem for us. Definitely. Yeah, Garen's a huge problem. I won't back down. How you doing? They had the single combat and, you know, they had the two removal spells. Uh, we did not. That's that's really the difference in the Demacia mirror. You need to be the one with the removal spells. Sanjo, what do you th do? You mind if we we switch out Sithria for two drops? Do you mind? I know this is your deck, but I want to. I want to check. I want to make sure. Okay. Cool. 
Yeah. Uh, let's go. I guess. Yeah. Let's go. Bright Steel Protector with the with the all the different things that we have. Yeah. Like that's that's gonna be a better card. Could we fit War Chefs in here? I mean, we probably could. Or at least a couple War Chefs. Um. How about? Well, if we put in just one War Chefs over the over the third Great Horn Companion. Is that okay also? Get us one of those in there. Just kind of lowering our curve a little bit. That's fine? Okay. I don't want to take out Great Horn Companion at all. Okay. So yeah, you used to have War Chef, so we took it out. Bright Steel, with, with how our deck kind of plays, Bright Steel Protector looks like it's actually probably better for us than War Chefs, which is not, uh, not something that's too common. But this does look like a really good Bright Steel Protector deck, give, just you know being able to have that barrier and attack in twice with it and so on. All right, this is going to be a it's going to be an interesting matchup. The um, the Noxus burn deck. Yeah, Valor into Misfortune is definitely a pretty good concept. Yeah, and I didn't want to, didn't want to take out Valor. My shield is yours. Down from the trees. No closer. Press on. Looking for trouble? It found you. Hmm. What can they have? I mean, they could have Noxion Fervor and and Retreat, uh, but like Transfusions, like they're only pump spells. I don't think that they have anything besides like Noxion Fervor that they could kill whether I attack or not. I don't. I can't. I don't think there's anything that would punish me for attacking. I walk my path alone. Okay, not bad. We can Binding Assault and Green Fade Warden, but let's see. Could go Warden and then Single Combat have the Warden fight Blade Scout. Um, I think I think we're just taking this damage. I think it's just going to be Valor, Challenge, Solitary Monk next turn. You know, probably go with the Quinn also. Have a couple of Valors. Yeah, you can you can do donation decks that other streamers have built. Definitely. Um, uh, like the other day we played Mogwai's Casino deck. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. So yeah, not, nothing wrong with that. I gotta show you <clears throat> the side to build. Okay, well. The smells we won't have level up misfortune this attack, but hopefully kill a bunch of stuff. Still. Let me show you what I can do. Ugh. Still heart, steady aim. So I'm going down to eight. Assuming they block with Crimson Disciple. Let's see what you can do. Your path ends here. Let 
love you. Look what you. So go down to six. And then I have single combat. Come here, darling. My only protection. This is getting getting worrisome. But if we can just survive. Just survive this attack. Transfusion's the big problem. Yeah, I mean, the only way for me to stop transfusion if I would have gone repost and then single combat, I guess. But hopefully, they don't have that. Good. I need no weapon. And I'd rather be at four. Like being at two is so is so risky, right? Like just a noxion fervor or anything like that kills us. So I'd rather just be at four. Show you the sides of build water. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Yeah, uh, decimate's a thing. It's true. I can't stop decimate. Whether I'm at two or four. Just like hunting for They would have played decimate if they had it, so hopefully no decimate. And we can win here. They'll never see me coming. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Feel the sizzle. All right, GG's. We had that, you know, we had that one spell we needed. You know, we had the single combat this time. Got to kill the four three before the four three killed us. Definitely, definitely important to have that removal spell, and we did. GG's. No, I don't. I don't think you need to. Or oh, two Katarinas. I was thinking Kato at first. Kato, you know, you said Kato. I was thinking you're mean Kato the arm uh, for that for our opponent's deck. Katarina. From people that in chat, like the last time that we played it, this person in chat that's played the deck a lot, say and said they didn't feel like it was necessary. Katarina, that is. And then it just slowed him down. I could see Mulliganing the Green Fane Warden if we want to go Assault Fortune Ranger. Maybe we Mulligan that because that doesn't really fit our curve and we can find like a spell for some interaction or a one drop. Hey, Danielle. Or Daniel. 
Daniel Lowe. <laughs> we have drawn. Yeah, we are. We are very skillful at drawing misfortune. That is true. We've only not leveled up misfortune the one time because we were going to. But then my opponent had. Uh, and then my opponent had removal for it. Scared of pilfer goods. Glad no pilfer goods. Kind of glad they didn't fury the north either. Then it would have been difficult to attack with misfortune. Dangerous water. Hm. We protect these woods as they protect All right, us. we'll just double spell again. And then, you know, and then play Quinn. It's our, our normal turn four. Away with you, stranger. Or with that game fault. So it looks like they want to they're willing to have their their two four take two damage and able Oh no. I was gonna say they're they're Willing to do that in order to turn on plunder? Needs here. No, they didn't turn on plunder either. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Still heart, steady aim. Mm. Ready, boy. It's pretty powerful just attacking for two two times a turn. Yeah, this is going to be like our third or maybe even fourth time to have turn five level up misfortune. Oh, no, I guess other times we're doing turn six because we attacked turn four, turn six. But yeah, it's basically just our first, you know, we're just always attacking two times a turn. Boo. No, they took my single combat. Ahead. So rude. Oh, wow, that that could have been worse. Bow. Yeah, the other Demacia deck was the one that gave us the most trouble. Feed the Masia. All right, let's keep Quinn alive. I was planning on going Bannerman, but now Genevieve Elmhart's just better. This isn't ideal. That was that was good, especially healing the Sejuani. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be leveling up Quinn. It's just how do I want to do that the is the question. I guess it starts here. I guess I didn't even need to block there if we we're gonna kill them. Okay, they're gonna die anyway. That's fine. Oh, Alright, four and one. Good job, Warshafts. Being cheap, being able to be double spelled. All right, GGs. We're safe. Yeah, I, I didn't need to make that that block that we had that turn, but oh well. All right, so yeah, four one. We just lost to the we just lost to kind of we lost to Demacia Mirror where they had removal and we didn't. You know, so they had single combat and concerted strike, and we had we didn't have any removal. I mean, that's that's just kind of what you need. You need that removal because otherwise we would have leveled up Misfortune and. So we leveled up Misfortune three times, three out of the five. And the other two, we had it at three out of four attacks. This was just really powerful, attacking two turn, two times a turn all of the time. Having Like, Blinding Assault was like a big part of that. Like, having having Blinding Assault and Green Fang Warden, these are two cards that not a lot of people play in the Scout decks. But having both of these cards that we could play early uh, meant that like, we just always had a some kind of scout unit in play you know those uh you know all these other things grizzled ranger companion quinn getting us two scouts the elm heart was awesome it was just that was super powerful always attacking two times a turn and that just makes misfortune even better like the card's already so good makes it even better um yeah did not really showcase great horn companion unfortunately but uh, that's because, you know, it, it's fighting on the same spot as one of our champions, Quinn, and it's just kind of always better to play the champion, basically, uh, getting the Valor and the Quinn together. Uh, but Elmheart really shined. And then Greenfane Warden looked awesome. And same with Blinding Assault. Both, like, those three cards were three that were super impressive. Uh, definitely. So pretty sweet. We didn't really get to... Uh, have Protector shine either, but Protector makes it easier to attack with like your Misfortune. Also, you know, putting a putting a barrier on your Misfortune or just putting your barrier like when you have all these birds that are challenging, Blinding Assault, Tracker, Quinn making birds. Um, it's really nice having barrier on the birds, so the Protector it's pretty nice there. Uh, the reason why we're going Great Horn Companion instead of Razor Scale Hunter. Um, is because we want to have as much Demacia as possible for Bannerman. We, you really don't want Bannerman to ever miss. Like it's a, it's a huge difference whether Bannerman triggers the Allegiance or not. So you really don't want to play Bilgewater cards. Misfortune's obviously too good. We're playing three Misfortunes, but besides that, um, I think it makes sense to play Companion over, uh, over the Razor Scale Hunter. Uh, yeah, always had misfortune on three. That's that's a good uh good place to start. You know, that's that's just you know good uh good mulliganing and good drawing by me. <laughs> that was all skill. <laughs> uh, without bannerman, razor skill is better, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, the vulnerable the vulnerable is real powerful. Um. So yeah, I think I think so. Razor scale. Where are you at, Razor scale? There you are. That vulnerable is really powerful, being able to grant anything vulnerable. But we're going companion, which I like for Bannerman. 
Was the one of unyielding good? Or would you prefer something that impacts early, like the two mana rally? Uh, the or the I guess you do you mean like pro you probably mean like the three mana rally? Like like this is the rallies don't affect early. The rallies are super late. Unyielding spirit is amazing. I would I would absolutely play one unyielding spirit and maybe even two. Like unyielding spirit on misfortune and Quinn on both of these cards is kind of insane. Like if you can't kill misfortune and can't, can't kill Quinn and you can just attack with those things all the time. It's pretty amazing, especially on Quinn that gets to attack twice a turn and each, you know, each attack step you're summoning a Valor and you get to attack twice. Like this card with Unyielding Spirit's insane. Now we never, we never drew Unyielding Spirit. We never did anything with it, but I would consider maybe even, like I would consider not playing Great Horn Companion, perhaps. And like, this is just an option. Like if you, if we don't play a Great Horn Companion, you can play another Concerted Strike and an Unyielding Spirit. It is important to have, like, having removal is really nice. And Unyielding Spirit is just kind of broken. Um, so I could see I could see removing the Companions for those. That would give you 15 spells, but, I mean, the Blinding Assaults are just, those are two mana, two ones. Those aren't really spells. So that would give you 12 spells. Um, which is kind of a lot. You maybe don't need like four reposts. This maybe, yeah, maybe you just don't actually need four reposts. Um, I'm not. I'm not that big a fan of reposts. It's four man. It's so much mana and barriers these days with like misfortune and stuff. I'm not a big fan of repost. Uh, back to back's awesome though. Maybe one of these reposts should be a back to back. These are just just a couple of these are a couple of like my own personal things that. I'd probably rather have a back-to-back -back over the second repost. Um, make it easier to attack twice, especially like, oh man. Man, back-to-back's probably actually just amazing in this deck. Maybe just go one unspielding, unyielding spirit, two back-to-back. Because -back. you get to attack, you get to attack two times. So this gets to affect combat two times, giving your allies, you know, you do this during your first attack, give them plus three, plus three, and then you get to attack with them again as they're huge still. Wow. That card's probably just amazing. Uh, why no purify against the Dur and Elusives? This deck this deck is very favored against elusives, I think, already. Like having all these challengers and stuff is just good against elusives. Like this uh that's good. But um yeah, a purify against Endure would be nice, but I, I, this deck's pretty aggressive. I you're not like a, a control deck where you where you want like those kind of defensive spells. I I just you probably just don't have room for it. You probably just have to be more aggro. I don't it's just a card you never want to draw against so much of the metagame that I don't think I don't think this kind of deck can play purify. Yeah, back to back with with Quinn and and with the, all of these all these things sound does sound pretty awesome. You know, turn turn all your all these valors into five fours you know if you have like two valors in play turn them both into five fours that does sound pretty sweet so those are, those are some things to think about you know if you want to uh get a couple of more tricks in here um you know depending on, on what you want to do uh i think concern strikes a great removal spell i do i think i think this this card's really good i mean this this is maybe your they human do card but uh, um, yeah, that's. I, I think the first back to back at the very least is better than the third repose. I'm just putting it back to where we had it, where we were playing it. But because um, repose is so expensive for what it does, but it's it's still fine. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just very expensive. <clears throat> and for just a little bit more, I think you can have a whole much more impact. All right, so those are some, some cards to kind of think about and to check out while you're playing. Uh, but there we go. Scout midrange. Pretty awesome deck here. Those of y'all watching this video later on on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments as well. Always love seeing the comments over on YouTube. And y'all you, can uh, let me know what you think about these different card choices that we just got done discussing. Join that discussion over there. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.